Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we're discussing my rainwater collection system I just finished up. It's officially finished. This has been a project for me all summer long. Finally got it to where I want it. So let's take a look at what we have here. So after doing lots of videos and trying to figure out what I wanted to do, I decided on this OD uh, diverter. I thought about making my own. I actually bought all the stuff to make it and I ended up having about $35 invested. This OD was uh, 15 bucks on Amazon and uh, honestly it's worked really well. So it diverts the water down. Nice rubbery hose here. And then I coupled it off to a piece of half inch PVC with the coupler here. That's a, I think that was about an inch, a one inch, like a three quarter inch to a half inch coupler fit perfect in that hose that came with the uh, diverter. So that's worked out well. That runs over the top of my tank. So here we have a 90. And this 90 goes into a two inch adapter. So it goes from a three quarter to two inch. I think this is a two inch. Eh, pretty sure. Yeah, two inch. And then I created my own um, screen to keep the uh, sediment out. So I couldn't figure out where else to put a screen so I ended up just using PVC cement and cut a piece of actual screen and it's worked out perfect. So that sits there. Then I drilled a two inch hole. I, I forget what size this is here but a piece of PVC screws in and this screws right in the top of the barrel. And then my two inch coupling goes right into here. Pretty solid. So that's worked out really well. And coming off the unit, I used all three quarter inch to make my manifold. Pretty simple operation. Let me get down here and show you how, how I did this. See how I coupled it in there. Not much to it. Went right in the right in the bung of the thing. That came right out to here. So I've got two fifty fives with the possibility of always expanding out here. It's worked out really well. Um, this is a bit low to the ground to fill anything I have, so I'm trying to decide on how I want to kind of capture water. But uh, that's a work in progress. I may just end up uh, either building a platform that's about two or three feet off the ground, or uh, just getting a couple cinder blocks, bringing it up about two feet. That way I've got plenty of room to stick a five gallon bucket underneath that spigot. But outside of that, I finally have this one project done. And all in all, I've probably got, I got the barrels for free. So all I paid for is the uh, diverter and that little bit of PVC. If I've got 20 bucks in it, I'd be surprised. Well, it's 15 for the diverter. And I bought a couple eight, uh, eight foot lengths of pipe another three five bucks now uh, I probably got 20 bucks in this thing so yeah it's worked out awesome any questions let me know I, I can look up the part numbers of the PVC if you really need them but it was pretty easy to find them over at Lowe's or Home Depot that's where I got these from so uh, thanks for stopping by